Hey guys, John C here. So I've gotten some further at work done on this thing. Um, I got the second coil finished um, with the exact same circuit as this side. That's the Bedini SSG. Um, and as the same on this one, the second power coil is not used. But what I did, I found interesting, is I took this power coil and I wired it directly to this one. That's it. I, I didn't wire it to any other place. Um, what I think is happening is because it's alternating current, uh, when this one is going in one direction, this one's going in the other direction. And I actually sped the wheel up, so let's turn it on. Fine tune it. Let's start with all the way resistance all the way back. <clears throat> and we'll okay. So if you notice. So I've got my charging circuit right here, and then that's charging the, this this battery here. Um, but on this side, the charging circuit is not hooked up to anything. But my light's not on. So normally, like let me let me disconnect this. You can see my light. means this is pulsing over 120 volts and the light takes the load instead of the transistor that's what it's for what I don't understand is now if I combine these two coils which just go to each other they don't they don't go to anything in the circuit the light turns off and I'm, I'm, I don't understand why. Um, interesting to find out. I don't know what I gain or what I lose by connecting those two together. But let's, the other thing is let's check. This is another anomaly that I found. So I'm going to test from the trigger coil on this side to the power coil on this side. And I got 11 volts. So that again, these are completely separate circuits. So I, I find that interesting. I was testing it earlier, and I was actually getting almost 20 volts when it, once this hits resonance, and you can tell, but it's, it really speeds up. Let's see if I can tune it in. You can hear it. It's speeding up. Now, let's come in here. Into here. So that eleven volts. There it is. Look at that. Twenty-three volts. That's interesting because all I did was see these these. The two middle ones are the in-use power coil. So the two outer ones are the trigger coil, the two inner ones are the are one of the power coils. So I'm testing from this side of the trigger coil on this on this one 
to this side of the power coil on that one, I am getting 23 volts AC. And I, I just I don't know why. I'm still researching this, trying to figure it out. And it's definitely definitely putting out a lot of voltage and I've been running this now off and on for probably a little over a week and the power battery here is still at 12.64 hasn't really gone down hardly at all and the, the charge battery let's see the charge battery is at 13.05 so I'm going to do um, probably once this battery hits 12 and a half which at the rate it's going, it's probably going to take a month of solid running. I'll swap them as long as the as long as it doesn't look like the charge rate uh, is going to overcharge this battery. I don't think it will. I, I don't think I'm I've got anything you know special here. I don't think I have you know I'm going to say the word over unity. Um, honestly, not really sure what I have. I've got some interesting anomalies, um, some interesting uh, voltages. I really needed an oscilloscope to determine what exactly is happening. Uh, I'm going to keep experimenting, and with with the energy that's coming out of these, which I tested earlier, and it's about 12 volts AC. Uh, I'm gonna. The goal was to use this, these two power coils, to actually power another experiment. Or I have this circuit, which I've started to, to work on. So this is a 400 volt rectifier. Um, so I was gonna go into this AC and it's DC out, and then charge this capacitor, a supercapacitor. I don't know if you can read the. It's 40 volts, 2700 microfarad. So I'm going to charge this up um, and then create an SCR circuit with a uh, cap dump circuit that dumps back into the power coils, uh, bypasses the trigger coil, and dumps back into the power coils at the right time. And I'm hoping that uh, with it charged up enough, you know, I can drastically reduce the need for that for the battery. The ultimate goal was would be for it to charge the capacitor uh, at a rate that's uh, faster than it can use the capacitor to stay running, which would mean it's a self-runner. Um, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm anywhere close to there, but you know that's what everybody wants. So. Thanks for watching.